What's going on? So I just recently read an article from Woodworker's Journal about a guitar speaker box. Bluetooth links to your phone. Seemed like a really cool project, so I thought I would try and make it. I've got a few steps here today. To start out with, we're going to have two pieces of plywood, about the size of a sheet of paper. We'll need our template. We'll need an eighth inch thick, five and a half inch wide by two feet long piece of wood. We'll need two of those and some machines. All right, so let's get started putting this together. My first step here is going to be gluing my plywood together. So as you see, I got my two pieces of three quarter inch thick plywood. I'm gonna go ahead, take some glue, just ordinary glue. I'm gonna spread it right around here if it comes out. Now it seemed like an interesting project because it took a variety of skill. Bandsaw, cutting out the actual shape, Resawing the wood to go on top of it, some sanding. So I thought I that's why I kind of chose this. There we go. All right. All right. I got another glue right here. That's better. glue all around and this is just a piece of foam that I happen to have on the shop so spread it around cut the edges if it oozes out not a big deal, it's all getting cut off. Next, take our second piece, and we'll put it right up in there. You can give me a little sandwich. Grab a clamp, flush out the corners here. Get them as close as possible. No need to be overly critical. And then I'm going to take just an ordinary drywall screw and the screw the side together. That's going to help hold that in place with my clamp. I'm going to do the same right up on this corner. the same along this edge again clamp this one notice I'm doing all my corners first Also, I want you to notice I'm on a sheet of just newspaper. Reason why I'm using newspaper is because when the glue dries, when it hardens to the project, sands right off real easy. Makes sanding a humongous difference later on. Keep. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, one more screw. There we go. Now, we have our two pieces all glued together. As I said, don't worry about the glue coming out the edges. Won't matter. Now, once this is all set, we'll end up with well, this right over here. Whenever you're gluing something together, you're going to want to let it set up overnight. Give it a good 24 hours. You want that glue to harden right up. And then you get this. Right there. Okay. Now I've got my template right here. You can see it's in the shape of a speaker. I'm going to take some sticky adhesive. This is just a spray adhesive. I'm going to spray the back side of my template and the wood. both those carefully take my template set it down here press it on go and then voila so that's gonna take a couple minutes to dry while it's on there so I've already prepped another one and began right over here I've got this one right there I've already done it I've already begun cutting it out to do so I'm using my bandsaw right there. And I want you to notice the blade that I'm using. It's a quarter inch wide so that I can make nice tight turns. And what makes the thinner the blade, the tighter the turn you can make. The thicker and wider the blade, the more straight it'll cut. It's less likely to turn, move, and wander on you. Now, as you can see, I've already begun cutting out the outside shape. Which, there we go. As for the rest of that, just discard it. You don't need it anymore. This is what you want. So next, You'll see on the template, there's a little line here. I'm going to cut down that line, and I'm going to cut this whole inside out. So let's make sure you get a good view there. Whenever you're using tools, right there. You're going to want some sort of ear protection. Make sure that you can actually see what's going on. go
Boom, all set. Now on the inside, it's gonna get completely covered up, so I didn't have to be as overly critical as I did on the outside. So, this is kind of fun. I'm actually doing my first project on video. So, now, when it comes to bandsaws, you'll notice I have this ring here. You wanna try and keep your fingers kind of away from there. I know I got a little close, but you should try just for safety. It's much better that way. All right, next, we'll go over to sanding. Now to sand out, sand this, I'm using a combination of spindle sander and belt sander on my bench top. You see, I have my mobile station. I have my vacuum already hooked up to it. So my dust collection will be all set. I've already gone ahead and pre-sanded out the outer edges here to get it rough sanded down to where I want them to be. Up next, I'll sand out this inside. Again, you don't have to be as critical because this is all going to get covered up since that's where your speaker goes. Once again, I'm going to throw on my headphones here. Now I'll begin sanding this out. Put that here. kind of rough sanded down to where I want it to be. So that'll be that. Up next, I'm going to take, I'm going to put the belt sanding attachment on there. In. And I'm going to smooth out the front surface here. Well, that's useless to me now. I'm going to go ahead and smooth this out. I'm going to smooth the back side out. Once again, I'll turn on my dust collection. Got my headphones on. smoothed out. You now I just want to get any rid of any rough edges. 
Next, right where I had cut, right there, that little gap, we're gonna go ahead and glue that together. And as I mentioned before, you needed a couple pieces of 12 inch veneer. This, you can pick up at any hobby store, any crafts shop, any woodworking store. They'll always have something there. You just need a piece about five and a half inches wide, 12 inches long. And then I have my second one right here. Now, let's go back over to our gluing area where we already have our newspaper set up. Move this out of our way here. of this video I'm just gonna do one side at a time normally I would first glue this up right here I would first glue that shut then I would glue this right on top there since I didn't want to make another one just to show that I'm gonna go ahead and just do glue this and I'm gonna glue the first half on there we go Right there. There we go. Now normally, as I said, I'd wait for this to dry, then I would glue this on. This way I could glue this, the top and bottom, same time. But since I don't have the time and I didn't have the patience, I'm just gonna glue the top one on. a silicone brush just for this I got my silicone brush right here right where right here you know not the left ear but the right ear so there we go clamp this down here put another clamp on it right here oh why not I got a million clamps Throw another one on it right here. We'll take and throw another one on it right here. So you're gonna want this completely clamped down around all sides because this is gonna end up being part of your finished product that you're going to see at the final. Run over, get another clamp, and I'll clamp it right there. I know it seems silly, but it's very important. Now, again, you're going to want to wait 24 hours. Let that one set up. And then after this is all set up, take and glue your second one on the back side so that you end up with something like this. See? All glued together. You can see my guitar on the inside. Now we have to take and trim this back down to our guitar shape. So for that, we'll go over to the router. So for this purpose, I'm using my router. I have this bit right here. It's called a pattern bit, flush cut, your choice. So I'm gonna take that. You notice it's got the bearing here. The bearing will ride the guitar and it'll help trim this right off. So let me grab this here. Mm. 
Again, headphones on. Get you a good view. any spots good up next back over the sanding actually better yet why don't we draw out our holes for our speakers so first we need to get the control the um, speaker unit so, I'm going to come over, I'm going to mark out our centers, and then mark out the top from the bottom here. There we go. We'll drill that out. Okay, and right here, you can see I have my mark right there. And I have an inch and seven eighths bit in my drill press. So, fortunately, there's really no good way I can kind of show and hold this at the same time. But I mean, you can kind of see there's a little red X right there. It's lining up. I can see the tip of my bit right here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on and slowly lower this down. My first hole. Next, do another hole in the back, and that'll be for the control unit. So we'll go ahead and mark that out. And that's right here, and right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drill that out. There we 
go. All set. Now, we'll get this prepped and ready for finishing. So, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put on a different type of sandpaper. This was a 36 grit to get rid of all the rough edges and stuff. This is 120 grit. This will help smooth it out a little bit better, make it a lot nicer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my ear protection. And I'm just going to smooth out this surface, get it ready for finish. I didn't turn on my dust collector. How much more dust that makes without that on. Always turn the dust collector on. Some sort of vacuum, anything. All right, so there we have that. And that's all set for finish. Again. Just a piece of newspaper right there. Finish it any way you'd like. For this one, we'll go with an Ipswich Pine Stain. Finish this off. Get rags. Helps if I have some paper towels. Gonna stain it, go with the grain. You choose to paint it, variety of colors, whatever you would like. And go nice and soft. Kind of like a natural wood color almost. So. The back. I like to let it sit and really absorb that stain color. After that dries, I'll go ahead and apply my polyurethane and I'll end up with something similar to this. This one's already been polyed. This was a Sedona Red. It's dried. And it's just ready for me to put the speaker in. <clears throat> I 
I have the speaker right here. You can get it right online. I'm just gonna go ahead, string it right through. I had seen this project originally about a year ago. I just hadn't had the time to do it until just recently. Actually, this weekend, in fact. There we go. So that's all in there. Got my wires out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and press that right in. I should just press right down and in. it too much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over to my sander I'm gonna put the spindle back onto it I'm gonna elongate and open up that hole a little bit if it's not going comfortably don't try and force it you'll break something you'll wreck it crack the wood worst thing you could do Never try and force anything. Okay. Get my spindle attachment back on. Go ahead. And just, uh... See if we can get this to kind of open up a little bit. get a little bit more here. See what else is happening. On the back here, this battery, we have it taped to the back side here. It's making it just a little bit too big. So I'm going to take the battery off. Let's we'll see if that fits better now. There we go. Yeah, that slides right in now. problem. So I got the sticky tape there. All I'll do is I'll just take and stick that off to the side here. <laughs> Go ahead and plug it in red to red. to white. No problema. Took 
the wires, everything back in. Let's make sure we get that so it's right side up. Press this right in. There we go. So there you have it. That's in there. Let's turn it on, see if it works. Sounds like we got noise to me. Let's turn on some music. Let's see what we got. It's buffering. So, all set. Now, if you're interested in this, and you'd like to see more, just subscribe. I'm going to continue to put stuff up because, well, I'm having fun with it. If you're interested in purchasing this or would like the template so that you could do it, feel free to email me at krmeile85 at gmail.com. Thank you very much. You have fun. GoPro, turn off. Stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.